Hey, what's up guys? Steven of Salon Guy here, and today I want to talk to you about a really important topic, and that is the difference between barbers and hairstylists. And I'm really excited to share this with you guys, so let's break it down. Now, I'm a hairstylist. I get a lot of people saying that I'm a barber, quote unquote, you know, they might not know the proper terminology, but there's a huge difference. I'm a hairstylist. I went to beauty school for about two years, all right? I went part-time in the morning, and then I worked in the afternoon. I did that for two years to get my license, cosmetology license, all right? I did learn barbing, and I believe the cosmetology license here in the state of New Jersey covers the whole spectrum of everything. They teach you barbering, they teach you uh, even skincare stuff. It's, it's, a really, it's really broad. I graduated back in 1994, gosh, from cosmetology school a long time ago, um, but I'm technically a hairstylist. I work on women's hair as well as men's hair. Now, the difference between a hairstylist and a barber, and let me break down what a barber is, is basically hairstylists will work on women's hair, do coloring, do cutting, different types of techniques uh, for different processes for the hair. Uh, a barber is mostly known for men's hair cutting, all right? They're barbers. These guys are doing shaves. They're doing a different type of method or technique for cutting men's hair. Um, sometimes you'll get guys doing women's hair, you know, uh, barbers doing women's hair. Usually if, it's a, if the female wears her hair really, really short, like nice uh, cropped fade, something really short and edgy, you'll see barbers doing women's hair in that scenario. But here's really the biggest difference. So now you understand which is which. Barbers really don't do a lot of longer hair. Now when it comes to men, all right, barbers aren't working on the Justin Bieber haircuts, the you know, more hipster haircuts, the hair where it's like down to here and lots of layers or like the, the sweeping kind of surfer haircuts and stuff like that. You know, sorry, but it's just they don't do a lot of those. That's something that barbers actually aren't specialized in. It's not to take away from barbers, uh, and I hear this from barbers directly themselves, is they don't do a lot of those types of looks just because they're mostly using clippers for the most part. And they're not taught the different types of cutting techniques that hairstylists like myself are taught. So there's a big difference as far as the actual technique. And now a hairstylist, from what I've seen, isn't always the best with the clippers, with the fades, or with men's haircuts. And that's a take away from either one, but that's really the biggest difference. So if you're looking for a tight fade, you're looking for the shape ups, you're looking for the, the razor edge ups and all that stuff, go to a barber. If you're looking for more longer hairstyles, women's hair cuts, um, different types of coloring services, blowouts, things like that. Or if you're looking for something that you don't want, like a super really tight fade or the edge ups or you know, something a little more you know, of a longer type hairstyle, I would say a hairstylist is probably technically better for that. Now. There are scenarios where hairstylists are actually pretty good at fading and barbering, which I'm like a hybrid myself. I don't claim to be the best in the world, but I'm a hybrid where I can use clippers, I can do some pretty decent shave stuff, uh, but I'm also great with women's hair, with longer men's haircuts and stuff like that. So I'm a good kind of hybrid of a barber and a hairstylist. And there's a lot of hairstylists out there that do that. So Barbers, on the other hand, do stuff that hairstylists really don't do, and they're amazing at it. And, and I love the craftsmanship that goes into barbering, and there's a lot of great guys on YouTube. Barbering has become such a huge thing on YouTube now, where guys are making videos left and right, and uh, they do amazing, amazing work. It's a whole art in itself. So we both are on this different ends of the spectrum. Now, if you're a client, and I get this, the, this is the biggest question I get, what do I tell my barber? What do I tell my stylist? My stylist can't do it. My barber can't do it. Look. Take, listen to what I d broke down, and if you feel that you're better suited for a stylist because of what the haircut you want, go to a hairstylist. If you're better you know, looking for more of a barber type haircut, go to a barber, all right? What do you tell your stylist or your barber when you see a haircut video that I do, or you see a look that you like? Bring in, everyone's got phones, bring in a cell phone with the image saved on your phone, say, I want this. And it's basically up to that person, that individual, that professional, to create that look. If they do it, or they can't do it, or they, they screw it up, I can't take responsibility. I have nothing to do with that. Try somebody else, all right? You have, to, you have to really sometimes go to a number of people before you can find the right person for you that best suits your needs, but it's sometimes a process. So bring in a photo, or show the video, or break it down. It's not really specific names of haircuts. In some situations there are, but a lot of time, show them a picture, they should be able to do it, and that's it. So I really hope you guys have a better understanding of the difference between a hairstylist and a barber, 
and um, they're, we're all professionals. We're all here to service you guys as far as your hair and, and giving you guys a great experience. And we're all very passionate about what we do. So both ends of the spectrum are really, really great. And I'm happy to be part of the beauty industry as a whole. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time for more videos with the Salon Guy.